Dating in New York is hard, so I thought I would try it the old-fashioned way, reality TV. I reached out to Jacqueline Trumbull from season 22 of The Bachelor to see if she would want to take a tour of the city with me. What do I have to lose? Dignity? Nope. I'm a tour guide. So I am a licensed New York tour guide. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, please. I'm also a comedian who knows the people and places that make a city interesting. So let me show you around. Hi, Tom. Oh, hey. Hey, it's so nice to meet you. Oh, uh, I read somewhere you're supposed to get candies. Oh, that's chocolates. so sweet. Thank you. And also, I know you like to date guys at the mansion, so I, oh, I brought yeah. you my mansion. Exclusively. Here. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm just with you. It's not really mine. Yeah, no, I know. It's actually a 19th century steel magnate, Henry Clay Frick's mansion. He built it in 1914, and designed by one of the designers of the New York Public Library. Do you want to go there? Okay, sure. Oh, and also, I thought that today we could have a nice romantic day in New York on a budget. And it'd be more of an adventure that way. And uh, I also spent all my money on this suit. And since it's going to be a surprise, I uh, figured I'd uh, blindfold you as they do on the show, right? No, no not exactly, but no. yeah. You ready? Uh, yeah. Let's go. We're, okay. All right. Um. First, I took Jacqueline to Central Park. Opened in 1858, Calvert Vox and Frederick Law Olmsted designed it to be a go-to for the economical playboy. What does a guy have to do to get on The Bachelor, to be The Bachelor? <laughs> well, he has to be single. Check. Um, he should be interesting. Check. Yeah. Um, and he's got to be successful. Show's stupid anyway. <laughs> okay, so next I want to take you for some live entertainment. Front row seats and you get to meet the band. Wow. Mm -hmm. Next, I took her to Washington Square, which is famous for its sick live entertainment. Huh? All right, so I'm here with David, who uh, plays a xylophone in the park. Hi, David. Hi, Tom. Uh, it's actually a marimba, but it is the big brother of a xylophone, is what it looks like. Oh, thank you for correcting me. So, who's your favorite uh, xylophonist? Um, okay, it's a marimba, um, so it's like the big brother to a xylophone. Okay, we went over that. My favorite marimba player is a guy named Michael Burrett. Who's your favorite xylophonist? <laughs> um, probably David. It's just because he doesn't know any other ones. That's sure. not true. <laughs> you know a lot of them, right? Yeah, no, I play all the marimbas when sure. I go to bed. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Relaxing. So, Jacqueline was actually on The Bachelor. I think that I remember you from the show. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you were great. You oh, were so likable and thank you. friendly. All right, all right, take it easy. <laughs> did you like the guy? I did, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, brother. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't buy that. Well, I broke up with him. Yeah, she did. No, I she bailed. You voluntarily she left. left the show. He did. So what would, you, what would be your advice to any aspiring uh, xylophonist? Uh, so it is, it's a marimba. Not a xylophone, it's a big brother to a xylophone. Yeah, okay. So I would say, uh, don't, it's super expensive to own one. How much and, does this cost? Uh, a lot. You say a number and I'll tell you if it's right. A thousand. Oh, come on, way more. Seven thousand. Oh, wow, we're almost on it. Eight. Yeah. Oh, okay, there it is. Yeah. Eight thousand yeah, dollars? Can you believe that? That could pay my rent for like one oh, month. Oh, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for talking to us, man. Thanks, man. So nice to meet you guys. Yeah, yeah thanks. You too. Nice to meet you. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Thank you. So, do uh, you want to dance? Yeah. Lastly, I took Jacqueline to Chess Forum, one of my favorite stores in the city, to show her the type of place that could only exist in New York, but also to get away from David and his dumb xylophone. So this is Chess Forum. It's located in Greenwich Village, and it's actually $5 an hour to play and BYOB. It's a great date it's spot. Crazy. Yeah. What would you say to people who say that The Bachelor is silly or a waste of time or bad for culture? Right, or I, I get it. There were a lot of things I actually learned about dating and myself and what I want from The Bachelor. There's a lot that can be gained if you just try not to be judgmental about it. Yeah, and some would say love is the ultimate chess game. Hmm? Nothing. So you left the show of your own accord, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, why? <laughs> it was just getting to the point where if you're not really serious about each other, it's better to end the relationship. Well, we weren't able to get a clip of it from ABC, but 
we got one anyway. Wow. Roll it. All right, um, I'm really sorry, but I've, I've decided to leave the show. What? I just, I have to, at this point in my life, concentrate on my career. It's what's most important. Well, I guess I'll just have to race six sports cars with Channing Tatum. So, what, what do you think of Jacqueline? Jacqueline is just a beauty out of this world. Hubba hubba. I hear that a lot of famous people come through here. Who are some of the most famous guests? Robert Plant oh, comes cool. to take lessons here. The Wu-Tang Clan. Sting considers this his favorite store in the world. Dude, this is a good date spot. Yeah, it is. Right. Once again, I would like to compliment you on this lovely suit. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> but when you have such beauty next to you, you have to be up to the task. Thank you. Thank you. But, but, but take, it, take it easy. All right, take it easy. That's enough. Well, uh, we went around the most interesting city in the world. We saw some really cool places, met some fascinating people, made some memories. So, do you want to go on another date? Oh, um, you know, I would, but at this point in my life, I really need to focus on my career. Oh. I'm f***ing with you. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so you do? Sure. Cool. Do I get like a rose or something? Well, I actually, work? I do have one rose to give out. It's right here. But I think I'm going to plant it in the earth. It's not even how roses work, but okay. 